Everything Dinosaur has signed a strategic partnership with Howl and Good, which means that customers can get hold of their amazing prehistoric animal models, including the Oranosaurus. But has the recently arrived Oranosaurus figure got the anatomically correct thumb spike? Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's video we can confirm that the recently arrived batch of Howl and Good prehistoric animal models does include the Oranosaurus figure with the anatomically correct Manus, the hand, with its thumb spike. Our congratulations to the team at Howl and Good for listening to customers' comments and adapting their model to show the correct interpretation of the Uranosaurus fossil material. We'll take a look at this model, but first, the official obligatory requirement about subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. When first named and described back in 1976, Uranosaurus was assigned to the Iguanodontidae family as it shared some anatomical characteristics associated with a much more robust and geologically older Iguanodon bernis latensis. Notably, the first digit, the thumb, had evolved into a spike, just as seen in the famous Iguanodon and its close relatives. Subsequent Ornithischian fossil discoveries have enabled paleontologists to gain a better understanding of the phylogenetic and taxonomic relationships. These days, most researchers classify Oranosaurus as a basal hadrosauriform, a herbivorous dinosaur closely related to the superfamily the Hadrosauroidae, which includes the duck-billed dinosaurs, the Hadrosauridae. The likes of Lambiosaurus, Corivosaurus, and Edmontosaurus that went on to dominate many late Cretaceous ecosystems. Oranosaurus may represent an early branch of this huge and diverse group. Its fossils, many of which were preserved in three dimensions, thus permitting detailed anatomical analysis, suggest that it was not closely related to Iguanodon, that it was part of a bird hip dinosaur lineage that would eventually result in the evolution of the Hadrosauridae. When the first fossils were made available to museums for public display, such as the exhibit erected in 1975 at the Natural History Museum of Venice, before this dinosaur was formally described, Oranosaurus was exhibited as a biped. This posture being based on the fact that the forelimbs were around 55% the length of the hind legs. In reality, Oranosaurus probably moved around on all fours for most of the time, just as depicted by the Howlingood figures. Ironically, the Venice exhibit, still on display today, has helped scientists to gain a better understanding of the bones in the hand. The bones of the left hand are particularly well preserved, undistorted and almost complete. From this material, paleontologists have been able to establish that the hand was short and broad. Digit 1, the thumb, was a small spike. Digits 2, 3 and 4 were broader, and probably the weight-bearing digits. Digit 5 was shorter, a spur, that probably was not prehensile and capable of grasping properties of digit 5 associated with Iguanodon and its close relatives. We at Everything Dinosaur congratulate Howl on Good for updating their earlier Oranosaurus figures and adding a more accurate Manus to their already excellent Oranosaurus models. So there you have it, Everything Dinosaur's quick guide to the fabulous Oranosaurus models. At Everything Dinosaur, we like to post up videos 
informing our customers and dinosaur model fans in general about manufacturers' updates. For example, our blog covered recently the announcement of new Safari figures for 2024. And naturally, we'll keep you informed about what figures that Howland Good are going to be producing too. So please check out our blog for information on dinosaur models and prehistoric animals. We'll also put a link to the Howland Good range in the video description down below. So you can peruse this Fabu collection on our website and perhaps if you want, pick up a model or two. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video and I wish you all the very best with your dinosaur model collection. And on behalf of Everything Dinosaur, thank you.